Hello everyone, this is Miss Dark Shigo here, and today I am here with another movie review. Now, today this review is going to be a little different from how I normally do. And that and you know, the last review I movie I did was called Lion King to Simba's Pride. Today I am going to be reviewing this movie called Barney's Great Adventure. Now, this movie came out in 1998, and it's about like it's 25 years old. As of this year. And I could definitely say this is actually one of my favorite childhood films from back when I was a kid. Because as a kid, I loved Barney as a kid. And it's based on the children's series called Barney and Friends. It's a pretty good film. And I personally, this was one of the last, this was released by, you know, Lyric Studios and Polygram Film Entertainment until... Um, Lyric Studios defunct sometime, I guess, in 2001. That was the same company that released a lot of uh, Barney tapes, as well as some Wiggles tapes, Kipper tapes, etc. So, Barney's Great Adventure was definitely a movie that I remember having a VHS copy of it as a kid. I remember I used to have this movie on VHS back when I was a kid. I mean... As a young kid, I watched a lot of Barney, and I watched a lot of stuff that a lot of people, you know, remember. So, Barney is definitely one of them. So, before I get started, there's no problem if anybody is watching kids' shows or kids' movies like this one. Hell, I mean, if you guys are going to come and say, well, why is a 25-year-old woman or soon-to-be 25 watching kids' movies? Might I want to remind you, I, I watch them for nostalgic purposes. And that does not mean anything bad or anything wrong with me, okay? I just want to put that out there. When I was a kid, Barney was definitely one of those shows I grew up with. And most of you guys prob should remember who Barney is. Most of you guys probably remembered watching Barney when you were a kid. You know, if if you were a kid um, growing up in the 1990s and or 2000s, you know, Barney and Friends have been around till, like, years. So most kids who were kids growing up in the 90s, you probably remember watching this film as a kid, whatever on VHS. But, you know, most kids would remember this if they were born in the 90s or something, because even though I was growing up in the 2000s, this tape, well, this Barney tape was definitely one of them I remember having. And personally, I personally really thought Barney was a really cute character. He was really funny too. In fact, when I saw this um well I saw this film as a kid, I personally really liked it. I really liked it. I thought it was a really great um movie. So anyways, I think I should get on with the plot of the movie to explain what the movie is about. Basically this involves three kids named Abby and Cody, along with their friend Marcella go to Cody and Abby's parents' farm for for at least a week or so for, you know, some time for the summer vacation. And they have a Barney doll that comes to life. I mean, lots of scenarios. It's pretty common in Barney where Barney starts off as a doll in the episode but then comes to life. That's because they use their imagination to bring Barney to life. So, basically... The plot of the movie is while they were at the farm, uh, Cody discovers a egg, which happens to be a dream maker inside the egg. So while they were waiting for the egg to hatch, they go on this really wacky adventure where it involves them going after a wild goose chase after an egg. Because um, while the egg gets lost, you know, in a parade, a restaurant, a circus, eventually in a hot air balloon. Now, most of you guys who probably remember watching Barney as a kid will remember this was definitely one of the movies that you may like it back then, but then you're not really caring for this film as much as you were. Now, back in 2021, before I wrote The Loud's Great Adventure, I watched this film for the first time in like years because I was wondering if this film was just as good as I remembered. And surprisingly... In my eyes, it's still a pretty good film, even though this was a pretty good film for nostalgic purposes. I mean, Nostalgia Critic actually reviewed this movie, you know, back a few years ago. I 
Haven't watched his video on that on this in a long time. But I gotta really say it is a fantastic, awesome movie. I I personally really enjoyed this as a kid. And as an adult, I mean, you could have your own opinion on this movie. I mean, some people like this movie, you know, even though they haven't watched the movie in a while, most people still like this movie, you know, even as a even after watching it, you know, as an adult, some people may not like this movie as much as they did as a kid. Some people like this film as much as they did when they were kids or have no opinion on them, etc. Now, in my honest opinion, Barney and Friends was definitely one of those shows I grew up as a kid. And this movie definitely holds a special place in my heart. Even though I grew up in the 2000s, this movie was definitely one of them I remembered having tapes of it of this series when I was a kid. Um, More of the movie, I mean, with this wacky adventure they go on, you see other characters from Barney you may know, like BJ and Baby Bob. Well, Baby Bop, I think that's how you pronounce their names. I do apologize because I haven't seen Barney and Friends in, like, years. But you get to see these characters go on wacky adventures, and it's pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely one of the best ones I've ever felt. It is a really, really good movie. So, yeah. It's a pretty, pretty good movie, in my honest eyes. Now... The dream maker in this, he looks like a really cute koala bear or something. It's not really sure what he is, but, you know, it honestly reminds me of a koala bear. That's honestly what the dream maker pretty much looked like is a koala bear. I mean, it's just really cute. I mean, my honest opinion, I thought he was really sweet. And, you know, Barney and everybody else was just pretty good. The songs in that are pretty good, just like, you know, from when I remember as a kid. Although nowadays, I'm kind of mixed feelings and mixed opinions on the songs that were in this movie, but I definitely got to say, I mean, it's still a pretty good film. What I mean by mixed opinions on the songs is because, I don't know, some of them were just not really as great as, you know, well, I mean, I'm not saying they're great or anything, but they're not really enjoyable as they were back when I was a kid. But I mean... I mean, I'm going to have to rewatch this movie again because I think there was something about the songs that I kind of had mixed opinions on it. But, I mean, I haven't watched this film since, you know, in a lot while. But, I mean, I did watch it, I think, a lot back in 2021 when I was writing The Loud's Great Adventure because, you know, I was inspired by Barney's Great Adventure to actually do that. The plot of it was pretty interesting, and it's a pretty good... um film for Barney and friends to go on this adventure and I mean while it may not be did great at the box office I still personally thought it was a good film regardless of what it was or what it did I personally still thought it was enjoyable I guess with that being said I mean if you have kids or grandkids I highly recommend you you suggest watching this movie with them or have the anyone who is a kid like if you work at a school or daycare I highly recommend this movie this movie is a pretty good movie although the songs I'm kind of mixed opinions on the songs because I really some of them were kind of little um kind of weird in a sense but I mean I was a kid and I probably liked them back then but as an adult it's just I view this as a different perspective as an adult it's just you know it's one of those movies I you may remember, you know, what liking this movie a lot as a kid, but as an adult, you have a new perspe- perspective of it. That's honestly what this movie did, and it's still a pretty good film. So, it is on YouTube. For any of you guys who are wondering, you can watch this movie on YouTube. Uh, people have uploaded this fi- movie on YouTube, so you guys can watch it as well. And if you were a kid in the 90s, you this is definitely one film that you will remember. And even in the 2000s, if you grew up with Barney in the 2000s or 90s, I highly recommend you watch this film. This film is fantastic. It's got a great plot line. I mean, the characters are really cool. And I mean, I really do like um, the Dream Maker guy. But sadly, we haven't seen the Dream Maker character since, well, since the movie. So kind of makes me wonder. 
I know I did hear that there is going to be a reboot of Barney that's coming out next year, so maybe they may bring the Dream Maker back. Who really knows? Maybe they'll bring him back in the in the new reboot of Barney. Who really knows? Until then, we're just going to have to come up with theories as to what happened with, well, the Dream Maker, because it's not really stated where or what happened to him. But if you guys, you know, think that he's going to be in the reboot, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I personally would really like to hear what you all think. Well, I guess with that being said, that's pretty much all I have to say about Barney's Great Adventure. I mean, I'm not going to go too too much into detail to spoil the whole thing like I did when I was reviewing this movie. It's because some people probably have not seen the movie, and I want to give people the opportunity to see the movie fees. So, yeah. Anyways, what did I honestly think? Well, I recommend this movie if you were if you want to relieve your childhood memories. I highly recommend it. So, I guess with that being said, not being the case, um, I'm gonna sit here and say this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these movies, and this is just my own thoughts. I'm gonna give this movie Barney's Great Adventure a nine point five out of ten. A really great movie, especially when I was a kid. It's it's still a great movie today, even as an adult. Although, the songs have kind of mixed feelings about it because I haven't watched the film. You know, I don't review the view the film, you know, the same as I did as a kid. Like, the songs when I viewed this film as a kid was amazing and awesome. But now I'm kind of mixed opinions when it came to watching this for the first time in a long time. So, yeah. But it's still a pretty good movie, in my honest opinion. I kind of understand why a lot of don't understand why a lot of people hate this movie, but that's just them. I respect their opinion. If they don't like Barney Needs Great Adventure, if you were a kid in the '90s, you will remember having this tape as a kid, and even in the 2000s, you may have remember watching this film as a kid. And I personally was one of those kids that got to watch it on VHS, and in fact. I have it still with me. Well, I got it from a thrift store because, well, the reason why I bought it was for nostalgic purposes. That is why I bought the tape. Now, if you dislike Barney and Friends or if you dislike this movie, etc., etc., perfectly fine. I can respect your opinion. As long as you respect my opinion on this movie, then we should be good. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Barney's Great Adventure. What did you guys personally think of this film? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Let me know what you all think in the comments below. If you have any criticisms of this movie of what it can do to do better, let me know in the comments below. I am the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like. Well, I'm not the Lion Queen, but I know I said that, but I miss Dark Shigo. But yeah, I am also the Lion Queen for any of you guys who are wondering. Um... Feel free to leave this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. If you have not subscribed to the Lion Queen channel yet, link to that will be in the chan in on my channel page, so you'll be able to go and subscribe to the Lion Queen channel if you are if you have not subscribed to that one yet. So I will try and see if I could find some good '90s movies to review as well. I mean, I did review The Lion King, the first one, and I did review Burial Ground for an 80s movie, so I thought, you know what, let me go with this movie from the 90s. But yeah, I recommend seeing this movie again if you like Barney and if you want to relieve some nostalgic purposes. So yeah, I guess with that being said, I will be seeing you all in the next video. This is Miss Dark Shigo, and I will be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out.